China won't share its samples of a deadly flu virus. And that's a problem. Get me to the farm. Hi, it's Sue with Get to the Farm. Anyone that has livestock or deals with poultry needs to know and be aware of the dangers of avian flu. To protect people against the next flu pandemic, scientists need to know what flu strains are circulating and how they're changing. But these efforts can be stymied if countries don't share flu samples, and now the Chinese government appears to be withholding samples of the dangerous bird flu virus H7N9 from the United States, according to news reports. For more than a year, China has not provided samples of H7N9 to the United States despite persistent requests from officials and research institutions, according to the New York Times. Experts say samples of H7N9 are needed to develop vaccines against the virus and treatments for it. And they're upset by this turn of events as many could die needlessly if China denies international access to the samples. New strain of H7N9 first appeared in China in 2013, and it has caused infections in both humans and animals. This virus is concerning because most people who develop infections with it become severely ill according to World Health Organization. Indeed, the virus has a 40% fatality rate, the New York Times reported. But so far, the virus doesn't appear to spread easily between people. Most human infections were in people who had contact with live poultry or visited markets where the birds were sold. In 2016 and 2017, China experienced a spike in human cases of H7N9, with 766 cases reported. In light of this recent outbreak, U.S. scientists want to study the virus evolution, but that means they need access to flu samples from China. Although Chinese officials originally provided timely information about H7N9 when the virus first appeared in 2013, communications on the topic has gradually worsened, with the country also refusing to share data from human patients infected with the virus. Very interesting. Does this affect whether you're going to raise poultry next year? How will you cope with the increase of avian flu? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for visiting. Like, comment, and share. And if you're not already, hit that big red button below and follow our adventures as we get to the farm. Get me to the farm Get me to the farm Get me to the farm